All right, we're going to try this again. Um, free hard drive boot install for the PlayStation 2. I've been asked about this a couple times. I'm not sure if people can't find you know a good video over it or what, but I have not added it to my channel, so I figure I would just do a quick video over it. I actually just recorded one, but for whatever reason, this cheap software I'm using, the ShareX software, keeps freezing the video at about 57 seconds. Um, so download the... FHDB install that I have linked. It'll actually be on my website because YouTube does not allow me to uh, post certain links because of their new AI crap. So um, we have our free hard drive boot image right here, 1.966, and we have our HDD raw copy tool. We're going to be using 1.10 portable. I'm not sure if there's a new version out there. Um, this is the one I've been using, so this is going to be the one that I use and link. So double click, open that up. Um, 20 gigabyte hard drive is what I'll be using for demonstration purposes. So we're going to go through, select our source. Our source is going to be our image. Hit continue. Now we're going to go ahead and select our drive. Make sure you select the proper drive because it will format and erase everything. There is no going back. 20 gigabytes. Continue. Again, it will be overwritten. You cannot reverse the process. Once you are certain you have the correct hard drive selected, hit start. You'll get this warning here. Again, absolutely make sure. We'll hit yes. <laughs> so this will basically go through and install our free hard drive boot image, um, which is essentially the FMCB free memory card boot, just uh, an image for a hard drive instead. Um, so with that being said, obviously this will only work with a fat PlayStation 2. If you are using a slim, you still can only utilize the FMCB exploit instead of the free hard drive boot exploit. So I'll place a link to my uh, free Wix website in the description, which is where I'm going to be posting all of my links moving forward um, as they have threatened to ban my channel um, specifically over the PKGI video that I did as well as the uh, the bias file that I uploaded for the CH341 programmer um, normally I would link the website where I received the software from but I don't remember where I found it and it took me absolutely forever to find it and YouTube decided to start flagging me so this is the little workaround for now um, until they stop flagging links, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Um, they even started flagging a couple links I posted to the video in the video to uh, PSX Place and GitHub. So once this is completed, um, get your network adapter. I'm using the cheap GameStar adapters from AliExpress. They work perfectly fine. The only issue that we have is that there is no network plug-in for your Ethernet cable, so you can't do any SMB share or any networking on it, um, which to me, I really don't care. I don't host anything for the PlayStation 2. I just drop a big hard drive in it and go. So now that's done, we'll go ahead, eject this from my docking station. <laughs> Now, with that being said, this only works properly with a two terabyte or smaller hard drive. I think the final um, storage capacity you'll have is like 1.8 terabytes, which for most people is, is enough. If you do use anything larger than that, it will only see 1.8 terabytes. So now we will go ahead, I will launch my cheap capture software here. Because again, I only do this as a hobby. It's not like a full-time thing for me. I, it's something to keep me busy while I'm on partial layoff in the winter. So this first boot up will take just a little bit longer because it is the initial boot sequence. So there is our free Mick Boot mod screen. So first things first we're going to want to do here is go into OPL once this loads up. 
grab my controller here, go down to OPL 1515 all, and launch that. What this is going to do is going to open up Open PS2 Loader, which is our main uh, hub for playing games. And this is also going to create the OPL folder on our hard drive for us, so we don't have to go through and manually do that. Now that that's been booted up, come down to exit, exit to browser, it'll boot us back to the um, browser screen where you'd see your memory card, your hard drive, all that. Now we can come down to uh, W Launch Elf. And hit circle for file browser. So once we're in here, um, make note that the circle button is now your OK button. So we're going to come down to the miscellaneous folder, press circle. Come down to HDD Manager. If you do not have this folder down here, just uh, exit out, go back, launch OPL again, and then come back in and try. Um, if it doesn't work on the first time, it always works on the second time. All right, so press R1 for our menu. We want to expand this because it's only at 128 megabytes, and this is going to be where you store all your artwork um, and whatnot on the hard drive. Themes, you name it. So I'm just going to boot it up to 2048 megabytes, 2 gigabytes. Go ahead, hit circle for OK. Yep, hit circle again. Partition has been expanded, and now we see that we have 74% free. Um, you will obviously have more than this because you won't be using a puny little 20 gig hard drive. But again, for demonstration purposes, that's what I had laying here that was um, that's not in use. So, having said that, we can exit um, W Launch Elf. I know I did a video on U Launch Elf a while ago. It's the same thing. It's just an updated version of it. File browser. You can browse your memory cards, your hard drive, your disk, <laughs> your USB device. You won't have access to this if you're using a cheap uh, SATA adapter for the hard drive because we don't have network access. And then your miscellaneous folder with you know, all your other stuff in here. So having said that, I am just going to power off the PlayStation 2 and the video because I do not have anything else to cover. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And again, the uh, download for this will be posted on my free Wix website. Thanks for watching.